Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, your online hand expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you my top five thumb exercises for stiffness. So if you're feeling some stiffness in the thumb, perhaps you're you know, recovering after a thumb fracture, a injury, or maybe you had surgery into the thumb, or maybe you just noticed the thumb is just kind of getting stiff over time. I'm gonna show you my top five thumb exercises to increase your thumb range of motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a few easier exercises and work into a little bit of harder exercises. And the reason for that is because you know, most people wanna just like dive right into the hardest exercise to try to move that thumb. And oftentimes, you know, just like the rest of our body, when we need to warm up when we're doing exercises or when we're gonna go out for a run, you wanna do the same thing for the other little joints in our body. And we wanna make sure we're giving the care and mobility to those little joints of our fingers and our thumb as well. So before we do get started, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Okay, so exercise number one. This is one where we're gonna just start moving just the tip of the thumb. So what you do is you use your other hand to block right below the first joint of the thumb. That's your thumb IP joint. So you can rest your hand down on a table or you can prop up on a towel, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and kind of just do a, a gentle pinch and we're gonna start moving into thumb IP flexion. Ready? One, two, three, and make sure you go all the way straight too, and all the way down as far as you can go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, so exercise number two. Now we're gonna go to the tip of each finger. Now, if you find that your thumb is very stiff and you can't go to each finger, just do what you can. Ready? And we're gonna go tip to tip. So we're gonna take the tip of the thumb to the tip of the index finger. And we're gonna work on making a nice Oh, so that's the, that's the key with this exercise is we wanna make sure that we make a nice O and we're not like pinching, you know, like this. So we wanna make sure we have this good web space. And ready? And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you want to open all the way up, eight, nine, and 10. And by opening all the way up after each one of those, that allows you to get a little more mobility than just kind of doing it like this. That doesn't give you much thumb movement. Okay, if you can, let's go to the middle finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now let's see if we can go to the ring finger too. If you can't, then, and if this is as far as you can go, that's okay you're still trying to do that motion and you're still trying to move that thumb across your palm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, now let's try to go to the small finger. This one might be a hard one for some of you. And again, if you can only go this far, that's okay. One, two, making sure we still keep a nice circle, nice web space. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. And when we're doing those, we're not pinching hard. We're only just touching the tips of the fingers. So exercise number three. So with this one, what we're doing is we're trying to bring that thumb around and contract this muscle right here. So it provides a little bit of a strengthening exercise, but we're also working on trying to get this nice C position. As you can see, I'm making a C with my thumb and my fingers. And that is very helpful for, you know, when you have to hold on to a can or a bottle or, you know, anything. So ready and one and relax and two and relax you can relax with the hand down or you can relax with it open and three and this one you're going to give a little bit of force okay not not too much make sure it's comfortable and four and five and six and seven eight, nine, and 10. Good job. That one you might feel like, ooh, I got a little bit of a workout with that one because you're contracting some muscles with that. And we need some muscle in that thumb if we want it to move better. Okay, now we're gonna do exercise number four. This one is where we're actually gonna bring that thumb across the palm, just like in four across to that small finger. If you can only go this far and there's quite a bit of space, again, that is okay. And keep in mind when you're doing this one, you want your fingers just to be nice and relaxed. Don't feel like your fingers have to stay all the way straight when you're doing that. It can cause some strain down into the arm. So fingers nice and relaxed and we're just working on bringing that thumb all the way across the palm now. Ready? One and open all the way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Good job, and just relax that. Okay, so our last exercise, exercise number five. This one is more of a stretch. So if you find that you've been doing all these exercises and you just can't quite get over there, now we wanna do a little bit of a stretch to that thumb. And what we're doing is we're simply just taking our other hand to help stretch and curl that thumb across our palm. So when we do this, we wanna make sure that we're bending at this joint here and this joint here, but we're just nice and lightly coming across and our fingers can just relax. You can do this one down on a table and you can just kind of gently pull this way or you can prop up and do it this way, whichever way is more comfortable for you. What you're gonna do with this one is we're just gonna do about five of these stretches, but we're gonna hold them for a few seconds each one. Ready, number one. Five, four, three, two, and one. And just relax in between those exercises. Number two. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can warm that up if you want to also. Number three, and really try to go across if you can, but not to pain, okay? Don't push to pain. Five, four, three, two, and one. Two more. Number four, five, four, three, two, and one. And last one, you should feel things warming up. You should feel like you can go a little bit farther 
with each stretch. And our last one, number five, and you can do more of these if you like. Five, four, three, two, and one. And just lightly relax that. Okay, I hope those exercises helped you. Let me know in the comments below. If you do these exercises and you feel like you need to ramp it up a little bit, then hold those stretches for a little longer. Maybe do a few more repetitions. Maybe even try them a few times a day to work through that stiffness. All of those things together can help improve your thumb flexibility and range of motion. Do me a favor, if you found this video helpful, do give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.